Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today is September 30th, there's a brand new update on the game, which is great because I haven't played the game in like a month, I'm so sorry, but good morning everyone. Right now on Stripe, it's 40 a.m. on Wednesday, September 30th, 2020. I don't have any big news to share, what about the new update? But I'd like to touch on one seasonal topic. When I was talking, taking my morning walk today, I noticed that some goodies had fallen from the trees. What could be more fall than that? Sometimes when you uh, shake trees, They'll surprise you by dropping acorns or even pine cones. So get on out there, folks, and shake things up. That reminds me. Ooh. I sent you a recipe for a trees bounty little tree to everyone who has the DIY recipes app. Look forward to seeing your trees. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, we get the experience fall. <clears throat> This will be our first episode doing that, even though it's been all of September that fall has been available. Technically, fall only started on September 22nd. My hair! It's all messed up. Oh my. There we go. Much better. And there's my hat. Interesting. See, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at what's in the mail. I'm sure there's lots of stuff that we gotta catch up with. We got Nook Shopping. We got the world map there. We got KK Technopop. We got the Bank of Nook giving us 295 bells, not that bad that time. Usually it's only one or two. Um, we get some Happy Home Academy stuff. Thank you for downloading the update. Yep, there's a brand new update. We want to give you a present for our appreciation. A letter from mom. My dear zebra, ah, that brief time of year when nature is too indecisive to be either too hot or too cold. I know, drives me nuts. <laughs> if only my own indecisiveness was this enjoyable. Should I bring a jacket or now, mom? So she gave us a present there and got some more Nook Shopping stuff. Please accept our sincere thanks for continued patronage of Nook Shopping. We'd like to inform you that we have some wonderful new seasonal offerings in stock. Please take a look when you can, Nook Shopping. Cool, so yeah, I'll be trying my best to keep up and catch up with everything today. Hopefully it all goes well. First, let's open up some of the stuff we got from Nook Shopping. And then also, our present from Mom and from Nintendo, we got the Ring Con. Oh, interesting. So this is, um that exercise equipment um, that's for the Ring Fit Adventure on the Switch. Haven't tried it yet. <laughs> Looks like it might be tough to play with hooves. Um, let's also open up the present here. Mom's cushion. Oh, that's cute. It's all hand stitched and everything. That is adorable, I love that. Whoa, and these are the weeds? I guess so, yeah. So we'll probably have a lot of weeds to pick. Probably lots of new um, bugs and fish to get as well. Apple, how are you doing? I gotta talk to everybody and really catch up. Oh my gosh, Zebra, I haven't seen you in forever. You have a different vibe about you. Yeah, I still have my swimming clothes on. Have you been having adventures without me? Well, whatever, welcome back. And no more disappearing on me, okay? I'll try my best. Oh, the trees are like a different color too. They're a little bit, I mean, everything just has like a different tone to it. This is my favorite season, I think, out of the whole year. It's just a matter of, the beginning of the season can be a little rough because sometimes it's a little too hot. Still, I like it when it's colder more than I like it when it's hot, personally. Um, so yeah, hopefully it continues to get to a more mild temperature at the least. That's always fun. Yeah, I'd love to hear how your fall is going. Fall technically started, at least in the States. Well, I think it's just in this hemisphere, right? Forget how that works. Yeah, I, I guess that's how it works. I don't remember, sorry. <laughs> but basically, um, yeah, September 22nd is when fall started for me. I'm pretty sure it's like that for everybody on this side of the world. Uh, but we're just gonna go and get some money out of the money tree, get some fruit around to whatever's really available, and just start making some more progress. There's supposed to be an update out today. I don't know what we gotta do to experience it, what might be going on. So I hope we can find out. But for right now, we're sort of looking around. Oh, look at the little pumpkins in front of Timmy and Tommy's place. Maybe there'll be something like in town center or something. A little weird for right now, but there is some messages. Um, so a couple of new things. First off, why is September 24th important? Because it's when we celebrate the birth of our friend and neighbor, Apple. Oh no, I missed it, I'm sorry, Apple. And then also, September 20th, upcoming bug off. The bug off is September 26th. I also missed it, it'll be a while until the next one, so I hope everyone enjoys this last bug off of the season. All right, well, I missed some stuff and I'm sorry for that, but there are new flowers popping up. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what the new updates are. Zebra, well now, we all thought you up and did a runner on us. You back then? Ain't that early, but it hasn't been quite the same around here without you. Anyway, I'll let you wander. I got a pretty important nap scheduled later and I gotta get ready for it. All right, cool, hope you enjoy yourself. Okay, I do hear a present flying around. I'm not exactly sure where. I was trying to pull up the webpage that shows us, oh, there it is, there it is. Oh my, I like Gigi's glasses, they look cool. I'm trying to pull up the webpage with the video that shows all the new changes for the update, but I guess I'll see what this is first. This is gonna be oval glasses. 
Okay, definitely not my style, but pretty cool to have them, right? I'll put those in our inventory. Let's start the GG. Oh my, Zebra? When was the last time I saw you? It's been forever, darling. Returning home after so long. You must have so many things you want to do. Well, enjoy Stripe. It's a better place when you're in it. Oh, thank you, you're so sweet. And we got some Nook Miles, I'm guessing presumably for talking to some people. So let's go ahead and claim some of that. Yeah, I get 400 miles for that. Got plenty to do, as you can see. So we'll be working on it, but uh, let's keep going. So it doesn't hint too much about what we can do, but mostly I know that we can go into Timmy and Tommy's Nook's Cranny, and we should be able to buy candy from them, which we can use to save up for Halloween in some way, and we could also plant pumpkins in some other way. There's some stuff I'm definitely still trying to figure out. Hello, hello. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. Thank you for welcome, welcoming me. Uh, welcome, welcome. What do you need today? Uh, I wanna sell, I wanna see, I'll sell what I have, just for some extra bells, I guess, the fruit. Um, and I think I also have a quest for selling weeds, so I, I might as well sell some of these. There we go, and done. 1790 bells, not too bad. What, what about you? Hi there, Kyle. Whoa, did I eat some bad succotash, or is that zebra in the flesh? It is, welcome home, when did you get back? Can't believe it's been one month, Alpha. Even saying that out loud is freaking me out. Oof, maybe that succotash was bad and you came back on the same day. Maybe. So where would the candy be, inside of here? Curious about what's in the cabinet? Here's what we have today. There's no candy. I'm pretty sure I have the update installed. I'm getting a little concerned, maybe I don't. Um, it had to install something for me to go in, so I'm a little confused. I don't know, maybe we'll just do a normal day today, and maybe the update will be here tomorrow, because so far nothing seems different. I'm a little confused, to say the least. Anyways, in the meantime, let's check out what else is available in the shop. Seems like yours is in a dish drying rack. Oh, that'd be great for the kitchen, actually, I'll buy it. Purchase, made, and that's some incense burners. I think we've checked that out before. We should also be sure to check if there's anything more, because we don't want to miss out. Um, so there we go, sell that, see if there's maybe something for buying. Oh, actually, we do already have that right here. So we'll just keep spending money if we can. Nice little chair here. Oh, and there was some other Nook Miles stuff. What else did we get done? Greedy Weeder, oh cool. So we sold over 2,000 weeds. I do have a lot more, but I'm trying to save them for when Leaf shows up. Don't know when that's gonna be. Um, but let's keep moving forward. Seems like you're interested in study chair. Oh yeah, it has like a little footrest there. I don't need it, but interesting to see. A little bidet. I might get this. If you don't know, bidets spray water up. It makes it more cleanly. There we go. Very common in like, not America. Like in Europe and definitely Japan. And this is an antique bureau. I don't think I need that and I can't currently afford it with the bells that we have on us. So I'm gonna leave that how it is. Still not enough to get that one with Miles done, but I'm sure we'll be back soon enough. Um. So yeah, with that being said, I probably should organize my inventory and then we'll use our ax to knock more fruit out of the trees. That'll be pretty cool. Oh no, there's a little bug. Oh, can I catch him? I don't think I can, I can't pull my stuff up. No, I squished him, I'm sorry, a little bug. Oh no, a little bug spirit there too. So yeah, that's what happens, I guess, when you haven't been in your house for long enough, it starts getting bugs everywhere. Um, for right now though, wait, did I get two destroying racks? No, I didn't, okay. Um, I'm just gonna organize my inventory real quick and then we should be good just to get some more stuff done. All right, so before we move forward, I do have one more song I can register here as far as I can tell, so I wanna do that really quickly. KK Techno Pop, we'll take a listen at this one. Interesting. See, I, I I don't know if the update is out today. It doesn't seem like it's here, so maybe it's like later today and I just got stuff mixed up. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. But I will do that. And we'll run around today, we'll get some other stuff done, and I'll talk about what's going on in the update so that whenever it is available, we can check it out. So like I said, there are some candies that we can earn up some way or another according to the trailer. And I think with those on Halloween day, we can actually end up getting um, some rewards. We can give the candies to other people. We could go trick or treating basically. 
And then there's also pumpkins. We can grow pumpkins and use those for recipes. So that sounds cool. So sort of like um, egg day where there was all the uh, eggs we had to get and we could use those for recipes. I think this will be very similar to that. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. I, From what I saw in the trailer, it looks like a lot of fun. It doesn't look like it's gonna be as egregious, <laughs> egg egregious as egg day was where it was this constant onslaught of eggs and it was sort of overwhelming. Um, it seems like they got a better balance for it this time. There are so many weeds everywhere. So we're really just gonna be tending to the town today. Maybe good that the update is not then. Um, but I'll definitely play again super soon so that we can get started with that. Maybe the update comes out today, but doesn't start until October 1st or something. Because you know, it is a really Halloween focused update. Beyond that, I know that there's going to be new costumes and clothing um, at the Able Sisters, like just different Halloween kind of theming stuff. So that'll be fun to check out. Um, checking the beach right now, but I did see that one fossil spot. We got plenty of cherry trees growing in and everything too. Lots going on for sure. Oh, we got the money tree. Let's grab some of that then. Got two fossil spots around here. We should be able to find six fossils today if we uh, look around well enough. So let's get to it. Here's our first one. Got it. And we need to assess three of them for a daily nook mile, so we'll get that done too. But yeah, it's gonna be a busy day even if we aren't tending to the Halloween stuff. Now, I think there's also new facial customization things. I think in terms of um, definitely like the skin tone and stuff, I think you can choose more ghostly thematic uh, stuff like that, which is really useful for costumes and stuff. So definitely we'll have to take place or take part in the Halloween festivities this year. It'll be fun. Um, I do see, yep, right there. Now that was a yellow balloon. Does that mean it's gonna be bells? Yes, it does, 10,000 bells. Pretty nice little prize right there, getting us up to 23,000. Happy about that. But we're not quite done. Gonna get my stone ax back out. And we are going to, whoa. Uh, come on, whoa, there's a shark over there. So there's even sharks in the fall time. Hmm, weird, because they weren't in spring. Wasn't expecting that. But there could be all sorts of new fish. Oh, right away. Fish and bugs to catch. Whoa, it's a, a sucker fish again. That's okay, they sell for pretty good. So I'm happy to have it. Swing out a couple more cherry trees. And there we go, we got our Nook Miles done for the, the getting the wood, I think. Yep, there it is. So we're making some pretty good progress today. I'm just gonna try to keep up with that as much as we can, change your outfit. We'll certainly be doing that later, I'm sure. But we should be able to make a pretty penny with all this fruit, a couple of fish along the way, I'm sure. That'll make a big change. So like I said, new clothing and face designs, probably new emotions as well. That'll be cool. But I think that the big focus is the Halloween portion, earning those pumpkins, getting some cool stuff with that. I just don't know how exactly that works in terms of like what do we have to go into. I think that at some point, there's probably gonna be a character around that we have to talk to. Are these butterflies new? I don't think so. I think they're tiger butterflies. But I'm gonna find out. Oh no, it is new. I caught a monarch butterfly. I guess the butterflies are a democracy now. Cool. So I think this was the same one. We're gonna find out. Oh no. Ah oh, yes, we meet again, Rebet. Never mind. See you around. Oh. Ah. Definitely gotta sharpen my bug catching skills again. And that is another monarch butterfly. So we'll definitely have to get that donated. That'll be fun. How's our inventory right now? We still have more than one full row, so we should be good. Just to get some more pears, more wood, more everything, really. Here's some more. Oh, we can talk to Biff soon, too. We should probably go in and do that. Also have to look for the money tree. There's, there's a whole host of things we gotta get done, isn't there? So it might be good just to sort of run through, smack all the trees I can, and then run through again to pick everything up. That way I'm not sort of switching between actions so often. So let's grab all the weeds. When leaf shows up, that'll be a big deal. I wonder if maybe that's how we get pumpkin seeds is through leaf. I wonder how long I'm gonna have to wait for that. So, so far, the Halloween event is weird. If it's even available for me right now, I really don't know how to tell. But yeah, the fall season is really fun. Just being able to see the little changes, especially since I really got used to summer because we didn't experience all of like the full period of spring because when we played, 
it was already March. So spring was almost over. It was just April, and then I think with May started summer. Uh, or maybe not. I can't remember. Oh, there's another shark. But I don't know how long winter lasts for. Whoa, wrong thing. Not gonna catch a shark with that. Now that's probably, oh, did I scare him? No, I scared him away with the slingshot. Okay, gotta be more careful. Grabbing some of that though. I think that's sort of this corner of the island done. There might be more to the north of Nook's Cranny that I didn't explore too much. I'll find out real quick. Not looking like it though. So maybe now might be a good time to stop and at least donate this monarch butterfly. I don't know if this muscle that I had needed to be donated. I don't know why it's still in my inventory. If not. Hmm. Hello. Ooh. -hoo. So let's uh make a donation. I got the monarch butterfly, maybe even the muscle. Just a monarch butterfly. Um, I'll get the fossils assessed once I have all of them. Don't wanna bother with that too much right now. Okay. So, I would like to learn more about the monarch butterfly, sure. Ah, I see. In that case, <clears throat> did you know that the monarch butterfly migrates south for the winter and returns north for the summer? Indeed, these horrid orange beasties do not tolerate the cold and travel 3,000 miles to escape the winter. During the journey, they cluster together in trees by the thousand thousands just to stay warm. Imagine, hordes of the foul, flittering fiends huddled together in one place. If only they'd put on tiny coats instead. Any hoot, my sincere thanks for your donation. All right, cool, so now we know a little bit more about the monarch butterfly. They actually migrate for the winter, like birds. I thought that birds were sort of unique with that, uh, but I guess not. So there we go. Uh, we can sell the rest of this and then we'll have more inventory space to uh, go get more things to sell, basically. All right, so selling all this, hopefully we'll make a good return. Already 17,000 bells, so that's gonna get us to 40,000. Yeah, we're making some good money tonight. I mean, obviously we're sort of playing catch up because we haven't played in a while, but at least we're making the most of the time that we have right now. Always good to see. Let's switch over to the stone axe. Oh, I did miss a little log back here. We'll go to the top left of the island now. Try to get some stuff done that way. We're still, of course, trying to save up money to pay things off. Now we definitely have that butterfly. I remember that one. Oh, there's a lot of trees to hit here, I forgot. Whoa, hey, it's uh, Gulliver with a new outfit. Arr, I don't care if it's me turn to man the helm. My nap is m me nap time. So are you the captain now? Arr, storms are coming, brace yourselves, mateys. And hand down the batches, or is it batten down the hatches? <laughs> He's snoozing. Is he gonna wake up or what this time? Ah, uh, uh, don't wanna get up. Ma, uh, let me sail the seven Z's. Is he not gonna get up? Yo ho, yo ho, pirate sounds, etc. Okay, you know what, this this shark over here is distracting me. I wanna go and get that. But I like his new outfit. Maybe he got promoted to captain since the last time we saw him. Got some Gulliver character development. Oh, I got too excited. Oh well. Uh, which means I have more time in the world just to bother you. There we go, arr. Arr, this buffet may be the end of, the, of me, lads, but I think I can tamp a bit more peach cobbler down the gullet. Avast, where'd the buffet go? What trickery is this? Do you even know who you'd be messing with? I'd be Captain Gullivar, legendary pirate, feared for all manner of dreadful gull, gull duggery, arr. Now where's the cruel mate you burst me buffet bubble? Was it ya? Ah, you don't look look very cruel. I suppose you did me a favor. I might have gobbled up this whole beach. Ah, you saved me stomach lining from a sandy demise. Begging your pardon for me sleepy confusion, ah. Oof, I do have a powerful ache in me noggin. I was partaking in a, a bit of uh, the good soda with me crew, but I tumbled over the prow and into the sea. Tis not but a mild inconvenience, so, for we be living in an age of gadgety miracles. I've got me a treasure that can summon a ship day or night, sea or shore, har. So as long as I have me trusted the old communicator, I'll be just, uh. Is it broken again? Oh my gosh. Me trusted communicator has gone and vanished, har. Those waves bopped me around like an inf 
inflatable beach ball. Uh, the thing must have slipped out of my pocket. That means I'm lost at sea. I'll have to wait for me buccaneer buddies to find me on their own. That could take quite a bit of time. I'm still workshopping my pirate puns, so those are sure to run out fast. I'm begging you, matey. Will you help me find a communicator? Sure, I'll look for it. So it's not even that he has a broken communicator. He's totally missing it this time. Really, why you're even sweeter than the famous Captain Syrup, but without her double crossing, I hope. Me gut says uh, me communicator is near in, in a nearby ocean. Oh, so we can dive in and get it. The crew is surely searching for me, so I should keep a lookout. Got lots to to be on land for that. No, gots to be on land for that. You savvy? That means it's up to me to uh, ye to swim about and find me communicator. I'm counting on you, matey. Oh, and make sure there's room in your pockets for your hunt, else you'll be blundering your blundering. Okay, so as you can see, I bet my own sea biscuits uh, that old communicator of mine is sunk off this island shores. This will cast a shadow on my pirated career for sure, or my reputation's about to take a dive. So we just need to find his stuff. That'll be pretty cool, but I'm gonna leave that for a little bit later. So I'm guessing that came with the update where deep sea diving became available, but obviously I haven't had to experience that until now. Cool though. See, cool to see Gulliver has been upgraded to captain instead of just being a, what was it called, a swabby? I think he was a sort of a sailor before. I don't think he was even really a rank of a pirate of any sort. I think he was a sort of a uh, sailor, which is definitely different. Either way, we'll pick up all this fruit and then I guess we'll get to some of the other stuff we gotta do. Be yeah, while we're catching fruit, or grabbing fruit, <laughs> I don't think it's trying to get away from me, so I don't know if it's exactly catching. But while we're grabbing food, I do want to talk about sort of, you know, what's been going on with Nintendo stuff recently, because that's why I've been so busy is not being able to get to this game. It's just, you know, other games releasing in general. Um, and there's been quite a lot. The big thing for sure has been the Super Mario 3D All-Stars. So if you don't know, for the launch of Mario's 35th anniversary, they um, released uh, Super Mario 3D All-Stars, which is a compilation of Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy. Um, it's a lot of fun, classic games, really enjoying it. I've already finished Super Mario 64 and my Super Mario Sunshine series. I'm, I've started recording it, but it hasn't been posted yet. I'm trying to get to it. It's, oh no. Uh, definitely a really tough game. So there's a lot going on there. And on top of that, to celebrate Super Mario's 35th anniversary myself, I played through the original Super Mario Bros. game from the NES. Um, I played through that in full, all eight worlds. Uh, tomorrow, October 1st, Super Mario 35 is coming out. Um, so there's a lot of Mario stuff going on right now. Um, at the end of October, we got some even more cool stuff. Pikmin 3 Deluxe is coming out. Now, I've never played a Pikmin game before, but there's our third fossil of the day. So I'm definitely going to be playing that. The new Crash Bandicoot game is about to come out, which is not Nintendo, but I'm just sort of keeping my mind on like what's new coming up that I've been busy with. Uh, oh, that's a, re re a new red little Snapdragon. Oh, and I got him in the first swing. Yes, I caught a red dragonfly. Did I, what did I, did I call him a Snapdragon? <laughs> Didn't even have to roll for initiative. Awesome. So let's look around a little bit. I don't think yeah, there'll be too much over there that I haven't already seen. But I'm just looking for fruit, weeds, all the sorts of stuff that we're typically looking out for. Aha, and fossils. This is our fourth one. See, it's that time of year where lots of cool games are coming out and I'm trying to keep up with all of them. They also announced a brand new game in the Legend of Zelda series, sort of, kind of. Um, they announced a sequel to Hyrule Warriors. If you don't know, we played Hyrule Warriors a year or two ago. It's a sort of spin-off Zelda game. But now they're announcing Hyrule Warriors um, Age of Calamity, basically it is a prequel to Breath of the Wild. It takes place 100 years before, which is where some of the crucial, oh, oh, it's a little leaf bug. Haven't seen you in a little bit. Can I catch you before you go away? There we go, gotcha. Very cool, I caught a walking leaf. Uh, but yeah, it's so cool to see that. That game looks like a ton of fun. I'll certainly be playing it because I was a big fan of Breath of the Wild. I'm super excited for the sequel Breath of the Wild that was confirmed, but now to have a story prequel to Breath of the Wild. That doesn't, it, it's not gonna play like Breath of the Wild did. It's a different gameplay, but the concept, the, the story is gonna be there and that's really cool. So that comes out in November. I'll be playing that a ton. So yeah, there's lots of games going on. I've been occupied. I'm trying to get back into older series as well. Still trying to play Plants vs. Zombies. Still trying to, I wanna get back into Minecraft soon. That's been on my to-do list for a really long time. I've been needing a new computer to do that. Um, and one is on the way, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, so, 
unless I miss some fruit, which I did. That's most of the trees on this side. So I will be helping Gulliver soon, but I wanted to sort of complete my adventuring around the island first. So we gotta go all the way to the other side now. Oh, is that, that's another new butterfly, right? Or is that another monarch? The sunlight might've been hitting in a little weird way. It looked a little bit more orange, but nope, it's another monarch. So here we are on this side of the island, and there's lots to do around here. Huge patches of weeds, um, plenty of oranges and stuff, so. Yeah, so stay tuned. I will be playing tomorrow, October 1st, to see if maybe the update has kicked in from there. Um, definitely looking forward to it. But this has been sort of a fun opportunity, at the least, to catch up with the fall season. I'm glad about that, at the least, you know? Okay, so grabbing some extra stuff here. Oh, and I hear a present. Wonder where it is exactly. Right there. This is our third person of the day. Quite a lot of these, oh no. A little bit off with that, <laughs> to say the least. There it is. And it didn't fall into the little pond either. What is this then? This is a light switch. Interesting. Guess we could put that on the wall somewhere. Okay, back to hitting trees with her ax. Got some oranges over here. I did see Pashmina up that way. I'll definitely talk to her soon. That's got a lot to keep up with. And you know, personally, you know, there's been a lot of crazy stuff going on just in life in general. It's always, you know, busy during the holiday seasons for everybody. Uh, and it's starting to pick up for me, you know, just between making videos and spending time with family. That's been something I've been trying to prioritize this year is just making sure that I can spend time with people I care about. Um, so that's just sort of been a juggle, as it is with everybody, but you know. I know a lot of people will say like, hey, why hasn't this series been around for a little bit? And there's usually an answer. I think some people just assume that I forgot the game existed. That hasn't happened, don't worry. I'm still very aware that Animal Crossing exists and that people want to see episodes on it. It's just a matter of juggling all the games. Um, anyways, let's pick up some of this. Also, I'm in the process of getting my own house in real life too to complement my Animal Crossing house, right? <laughs> Gotta upgrade everything at once. Um, but that's been a whole thing that's been my first time experiencing all of that, so. Been eating up a lot of my time. Uh, we're gonna grab some more weeds here. Cause we gotta be probably almost more than a stack of them. Yeah, we're at 87. Once we get to 99, it starts a new stack. Can plant another money tree as well. That'll be useful for the future. There's lots of money to be made today, it's great. Cause we haven't even tried the money rock yet. That's gotta be around somewhere. And we're still looking for the message in a bottle. That'll be somewhere as well um, on the side of the beach because we've checked the other areas and haven't seen it. A little worried that our inventory is gonna fill up soon. We're doing a great job. Oh, okay. Thought that was her just flat down laying on the beach all crumpled. No, she was doing some yoga poses. That just was a weird perspective. Zephyr, it's been forever. How are you doing? If we'd seen each other sooner, I could have invited you to my club. Crazy for banana bread. Okay, I might have been the only member, but still. Hey, I'll be member number two. Banana bread's great. <laughs> All right, well, if you ever open it up again, be sure to let me know. I will definitely say yes. Okay, we got, is that an eel? Oh, that is an eel. I wonder if that's a new fish type, or is that gonna be the same ribbon eel we normally got? We're gonna find out. Uh, maybe. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Didn't seem like you noticed it at first. Oh, my reactions weren't quite quick enough. Okay, well maybe some other time we'll find out. Not now, obviously. Maybe there is no message in a bottle though. Has to be coming up soon, or I missed it. Hmm. Oh, there it is, okay. Glad I didn't miss it. So what will this message have in store for us? Oh, we are definitely filling up on inventory. I was out doing whatever I like to do, none of your business and who cares? And who got and got this idea, or cool DIY idea, I figured somebody out there would wanna try building it. And with that, good luck. Iron shelf, nice. Actually, any of the iron um, type of building materials or just like crafting recipes, I really appreciate because they all look really nice. So that's good to have. Now I think we we're good at the lower part of this. We just gotta clear out the higher part, which has so many more weeds on it, but shouldn't have really any fruit. But we're still looking for two more fossils, so hopefully they're around. Yeah, it's actually been very productive so far today. We still have lots more to do. I'm trying to keep up with that. But I don't think we've done a bad job so far. 
and I can't wait to make our town more spooky for Halloween. Halloween's not my favorite holiday, but I can definitely appreciate that it's a fun one. Hello. Zebra? Whoa, I haven't seen you in forever. It's been like one whole month, right? I mean, I figured you'd come back eventually, but still, been a bit. It just hasn't been the same here without you, you know? I really miss my party buddy, kidders. Thank you. I'm sorry I was gone for so long, but I'll try to remedy that and not let it happen for at least as long of a period as that. It's crazy that with October, or no, actually with September, the game has been out yeah, just over six months, half a year, as of like, a, I guess a week or so ago, because it was what, March 20 something? 21st, 22nd, so I guess September 21st, 22nd was about six months that the game's been out. It's been a lot of fun. Nearly 70 episodes in that time. I'll we'll try to post more soon. And what do we got over here? Not too much. Let's go across. More weeds for sure. I'm looking for that. Aha, that last fossil spot. I had to be around somewhere. So really all we got beyond that is getting more weeds. Do I have enough space for this? I do. So it's totally maxed out now. So hopefully there's nothing more than weeds to get around here because that's all I have the inventory space for. Oh, there's some on the floor right there. I don't know if I'll be able to get every single one of them, but I'll try to fill it up as much as possible. Because we've got our third level we're getting up to here in a moment. And actually it looks like this area, oh no, I saw some. I was gonna say is oddly enough in the clear, Usually the higher up you go, the more patches of weeds there are. But then after this, we will sell a lot of stuff. We will try to find Gulliver's communicator. That'll probably be a good idea. Help him out a little bit too. And there's no weeds on this side. Surprising actually. Okay, so I'll switch over to the ladder. I'll run over to uh, Nook's Cranny and we'll sell some stuff. All right, Timmy, Tommy, I got a major amount of stuff for you here. I am offering so much. So we have cherries, pears, um, more pears up this way. Not the red snapdragon, or not snapdragon, dragonfly. I'm getting it mixed up with plants versus zombies. Um, not the weeds, but definitely all the shells. Honestly, I thought it was gonna be more fruit. Did we miss out on some? I don't think so. And how much is that gonna be? 22,220 bells. Now we're at the 63,000 even. 63,000 even, not too bad. Okay, so we'll go to the museum, get those fossils checked out and everything. That'll be fun. Alrighty. So right over here, oh Blathers, I'm back with one more bug and a lot more fossils. I don't know if any of these fossils will be, will be new. At this point, it's not been too common, but maybe we can find new fossils in a new season. So. Make it do, wait, 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 wrong thing to do. Hold on, back it up, back it up. I wanna do assessments first. Okay, assess fossils. If one of these, just one can be new, I'd be really happy about that. Ooh, more than one I see. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Yes, indeed, quite splendid. Alas, our museum already has fossils such as these. All right, well, I tried. Most important thing is to try. Let's make a donation. And we'll donate the red dragonfly. Eek, a red dragonfly, what a wretched thing. Alas, I'm obliged to ask, would you like to learn more about this specimen? Please tell me. Ah, I see, in that case. <clears throat> I won't deny that the wretched dra red dragonfly is an elegant aeronaut. It manipulates its four wings quite uniquely so it can hover and maneuver through the air with ease. But the veins on its wings, what ghastly things. Oh, one can't help but gasp at the sight of them. Appalling aerodynamics indeed. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. So at least we got two new things donated. Not a ton, but it's something. So I am fine with that. Let's keep going. So we'll at least be able to sell these extra fossils, make us a little bit of extra money, and we got the Nook Miles for getting them assessed. Right here, 150, almost 50,000 Nook Miles. So we've been climbing back up. Oh, and take a quick photo. I can do that. There we go, I'm gonna be fast with it because I just wanna keep moving. And there's another extra 100. We haven't even checked out the town center to um, see if there's anything in the lost and found or anything like that. 
And as long as we make, I think, over 5,000 Nook Miles or, or Bells here, we should make some extra Nook Miles from that too. There's all sorts of stuff going on. <laughs> Very busy dying. I wanna sell. Um, so yeah, let's do that and sell that. 14,600, really good. 77,600 in total. That is some extra stuff now. I'll claim that. Thank you. And now we gotta catch bugs. I might save that for later. I can't hunt miles for every second of the day, right? So I think the thing we're gonna do next is I'm going to look around, start smacking some of the rocks and see if we can't get the money rock. Here it is. Okay, let's see if our shovel can last as long as it needs to. There we go. One more. Yeah, okay, we got all of it. So that's gonna jump us up to 90,000 here, maybe even more. Ooh. 93,700. That's great. Really, really great. So yeah, with all of our inventory cleared and everything there, let's go to the town center, we'll go to the Able Sisters, and then we'll go and help Gulliver. All sorts of things to do today. It's, it's really enjoyable though, just being able to catch up. And now I feel like I'm like fresh and ready to go for the Halloween stuff that I guess presumably will start tomorrow. Argyle sweater, sapling, simple red flooring, and sweatshirt. Cool. And what cool stuff might we have at the Nook Stop? So obviously, it's been a while since I've last checked. Uh, I don't think there's gonna be anything new in terms of Nook Miles to redeem. Again, looking like all the typical stuff. Uh, so we'll leave that be. And instead, we'll go Nook Shopping. Special goods. And we got KK Metal. I definitely don't have that one, right? I should probably check my list. I don't have it open right now. And we get the Grape Harvest Basket. That ends today, okay. Good to get that. And the Moon Rug. Last until October 8th for Moon Viewing Day. See, that was the Grape Harvest Festival, which you can see the different countries it's in as well. That's so cool. And this one is international. It is the Moon Viewing Day. Very awesome. I like those things. So those will be shipped over to us. Um, I don't think there's too much more I need my money for today, so. Well, I didn't go to the Able Sisters. I don't think I'm going to need more than 10,000 bells for the Able Sisters, so. I'm gonna deposit that into our savings. So I have almost 700,000. Still have a lot to chip through, but if we keep having days like today, we'll get there in no time. So. Oh, we got some extra Nook Miles again. <laughs> Gonna stack those up pretty high as well. We definitely need to do more island exploring at some point or another as well. But let's see. We get ourselves extra for just buying stuff, spending bells. Oh, now I got the hit rocks. I just hit a bunch of rocks. If I see any other rocks around, I'll, I'll make sure to hit those. But the Able Sisters have to have something cool, right? I haven't been there for a while, so they probably have a fresh stock of new stuff. Looks like it. Hey there, welcome to the Able Sisters where we sell fashions made lovingly by Claw. Okay. Yep, we'll use the fitting room just so that we can see everything at once. Makes it much easier. So oh, we got the after school jacket, the dress shirt, uh, printed layer shirt which says Vita Isolana. I'm not entirely sure, I think that's Italian. Pretty sure Vita is Italian for life. Uh, sweater vest. Um, maybe, is Isolana Island? No, I don't know. I, I don't know enough Italian to say it for sure. We got ourselves a tuxedo jacket, explorer shorts, that's the combo you wanna see. <laughs> Long pleated skirt, we've seen that. School pants, um, coveralls with arm covers. Interesting. The coveralls don't cover the arms normally, then is it really a coverall? <laughs> uh, long de denim cardigan, oh, that's fancy. Made dress, I think we've seen that. The frugal hat, this looks like a witch hat. Oh, I like it. I wanna buy that one. Oh, I'm gonna hold on for now. But a uh, student cap as well. Veiled gardening hat for all of your gardening needs. Bandages, we've seen the ladder shades. Uh, tiny shades, oh, those are so fancy. How does that look with this? Not the best combo, but I'll, I'll buy both of those still. The puckered socks, I can't even really see those with my current setup. Boots, cute sneakers. Um, high tops, which we've definitely seen these before. I don't think there's anything too new here. Rain boots, and that's about it. So, oh no, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to definitely get that hat, because maybe we could use that in some kind of like witch, or even like scarecrow kind of Halloween outfit. 
definitely want to look at my options uh, when that time comes. But for right now, that, I won't get the tiny glasses because they're funny. There we go. Ready to make the purchase, yes please. Um, I do not want to wear them for right now. I'll just put them in the inventory or get shipped to me or however that works. Okay, see that was awesome. Now time to head over to Gulliver and find his phone. So while we're here, we also needed to um, hit this rock just so that we can actually get through our Nook Miles a bit more. Might as well try to multitask with that, right? And I know we also have a Nook Miles for actually catching fish in the deep sea diving, so. All sorts of stuff to get done. Hopefully it doesn't take us too much effort to actually find Gulliver's communicator though. Because if I don't have to spend a ton of time doing it, I'd rather not. I feel like we made good progress as it is. Okay. So as you can see, it rocks, 100 miles, pretty good. Complete DIY projects, maybe later. For right now though. Got it. Let's hop in. I feel like I need to get a new suit soon because I, I don't know if this one really fits. Yep, going right into the water. And where might the bubbles be? Not seeing any just yet. Really hope his phone is waterproof, because if not, it doesn't matter if we have it here, it might be a bit broken. There we go. Nope, did I miss it? I guess so, try again. And hey, maybe we'll get lucky, maybe it'll tap on the first try. What did we get? Yeah, we got it, nice! Yes, I found the communicator. Now to bring it to that pirate. You can see all the internals of the phone showing there, so I'm pretty sure this thing's out of commission. Um, how many did we need to catch? Just three, you know what? Might as well make the most of our time. If we're out here already, let's dive down and try to get three things caught. Whoa, what was that? Oh, that was the water hitting the rock. It made like a big splash. Thought that was something jumping out of the water for a second. I got a little scared. Oh boy. There we go. What do we got? Oh, we get some sea grapes. Nothing new, but still something cool. So here's fish number two, or at least something to die for. It's not always a fish as, as we just saw. Come on, come on, got it. This is not a scallop, it's, oh, this is new. I got an oyster, it's a little shellfish. All right. Just looking for one more thing. Do whatever it wants, I just wanna be able to get it. Okay, almost there, almost there. Now, I wonder if the water is getting cold now that it's fall. I'm sure that it is. Might not be as pleasant to dive into, but there are wetsuits that make it so that it's easier to swim in the cold, right? And then it's more sea grapes. So nothing too crazy there, but I believe, yep, that's the Nook Miles done. So that's gonna be times two, so 300 miles in total. Nice little jump. Awesome. So I'm not gonna worry about any of that other stuff for now. We've gotten a lot done today. Can't get everything done, right? It's gonna perpetually just give us more and more rewards. We're almost there. Ooh. Hey, go over. Arr, have you found it yet? Yar. Here you go. Arr, that's it. That's me, precious communicator. He's so happy, does a little spin. I thank you with all me heart, matey, with extra cherries on top even. Now I can contact me faithful crew. Avast, you little lily liver sea dogs. Tis I, your beloved captain, who makes things hap -tan. I had another bad spill, so you best change your course and come pick me up. Here be me coordinates. Be quick about it, or I'll buckle your swashers for good. So says Captain Gullivar. Arr, a winky face, sent. Arr, that ought to put some wind in their sails and, and no mistake. You saved me life. That's a debt that needs repaying, so I'll ship ship you a fine reward soon. Expedite it, arr. Ah, that takes a load off. Nothing left to do but wander this here beach and look mean. Here I go, arr. So there we go. Remember to explore some of the fall season before September ended. Got some new bugs experienced, you know, getting fruit, plenty of money there. Um, lots of fun, for sure. Next episode, we will be exploring, hopefully, the first of the Halloween event through the new update. Didn't happen today, I'm sorry about that, but hey, we got the help of Gulliver, so that's an interesting experience. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.